created an extension for VS Code that lets you program in your native language. Whether you're just learning to program or just want more control over your workflow, here's what it does, how it works, and how to get started. Hi, I'm Liam. This is the natural language translator for VS Code. Programming is built on English. If that's not your first language, it can slow you down when learning. Whether you're a beginner grasping basic concepts or an experienced programmer navigating complex syntax, NLT helps that by letting you use terms from your own language, making programming more natural and efficient. Due to the nature of this plugin, I highly recommend when you get started to back up your code base, as this plugin is using string manipulation across a whole document. Anyways, it's always important to back up your code base. Human languages are complex and have evolved over thousands of years. A lot of common programming terms are easily translated between languages. The NLT currently includes dictionaries for 12 different languages, each with hundreds of programming terms. Here's how it works. First, install the NLT from the VS Code Marketplace by pushing up Natural Language Translator. And you'll see a language selector in the bottom of your VS Code status bar typically on the left side of the screen. You can hit that button to pick your language. Once you select a language, then hit Control shift t and start coding with words in your dictionary. Hover over terms to see their English equivalent. When you're ready, press Control shift t again and it translates back to English. It's seamless and puts you in control of how you view and edit your program. You can tailor each dictionary to your needs. Add a new term by typing it, highlighting it, then hit Control shift u You can then enter its English meaning. To remove a term, switch to English mode first. Then enter the term you want to remove. Highlight it, press Control shift i then hit Enter to delete the term. NLT is built to let you customize your workflow. The extension maps every word's occurrence and position in your document, updating consistently as you type. It handles ambiguity like one word can mean integer, or it can mean int, or there could even be capitalization variant. The extension will prompt you to choose which meaning. This is especially important for languages like Chinese, where there's no capitalization, let alone an alphabet. If it spots a new capitalization in English code, NLT adds that variant to your dictionary automatically. NLT is great for learning. Connecting code to words you already know speeds up understanding. This is about empowering users to write programs however they want, whether you're starting out or already comfortable programming. I inspire this from my own learning technique or I try to put things into my own words to better explain to myself certain concepts. Extension currently supports 12 languages by default, but I'm in the process of adding more languages. Right to left languages like Arabic and Hebrew aren't working yet because VS Code natively does not support uh, right to left languages in uh, its Monocode document editor, but it is definitely on our development roadmap for future features. The aim is to open this up to as many people as we possibly can. You can tell the status of your translation by looking in the bottom right of your screen. It will tell you whether translation mode is enabled or not, and give you the status of your translation. It may take a moment to translate the whole document. Before I show you a demo of each language, I want to show you NLT's ability to uh, form compound terms in real time. When you begin typing in translate mode, there's no need to separate terms with spaces. NLT forms and maps compounds in real time. This allows you to string together individual terms to form more complex strings like variable names and functions. You can see the status of your compound by hovering over it to see how it's mapped. It will even ask you for clarification when entering ambiguous terms.
Oh, ma da bocca picchita va bene. Si tu la parla mi è americano. Quando si fa la mola sotto la luna. Oh, ma da bene in cave di I love you. Papà l'americano.
Average sized code documents translate within a few seconds, but files that are a thousand plus lines may take a little longer because it has to parse through the entire document and map out each word. Um, the project is written in TypeScript and is entirely open source. Also, the extension runs locally and does not rely on any third party dictionaries or translation services. All the dictionaries are in JSON format and can be easily created and edited. Check out the project on GitHub if you're interested uh, in contributing or you wish to compile and customize it in your own way. That's the Natural Language Translator for VS Code, a tool to help you code in your language your way. Whether you're just getting started programming, want a better workflow, or simply want a new perspective on your code, download it from the VS Code Marketplace, give it a shot, see if it works for you, drop a comment below like the video if you'd like to see more content like this. I'm Liam, also known as Future Tunes from Menace on Games. Thank you for watching.